Ukraine is committed to a zero tolerance to corruption policy. Russia allows its senators not to declare their income. Good afternoon, dear world. This is Henry Keane. We had three air raid alerts yesterday and four hour long alert this morning. But good, usual things be bad, extraordinary ones. So here we are, as usual, explaining how things in simple terms on UA TV channel. The Ukrainian government takes all reports of alleged corruption cases extremely seriously, including the recent ones, the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Reintegration. Responding to these reports, President Zelensky took immediate action. A number of high-ranking officials from central and local government's positions and the law enforcement system were removed from their respective offices. Independent law enforcement agencies are currently investigating all of the cases. Those who have broken the law will held accountable. Zelensky made it abundantly clear that politicians and officials will not be allowed to walk their old ways of exploiting state and public resources for the sake of their private benefit. Society has seen yet another set of personal decisions that have been made. I emphasize the phrase, yet another. We will continue to take appropriate steps. The public will see each of them, and I'm sure will support them. Any internal issues that hinder the state are being removed and will continue to be removed. It is fair, it is necessary for our defense, and it helps our rapprochement with European institutions. We need a strong state, and Ukraine will be just that. You can literally feel it in the air. Ukraine is dedicated to a policy of zero tolerance for corruption and will keep our partners updated on the results of the ongoing investigations. Corruption scandals happen from time to time everywhere in the world. People are people. But like any other democratic nation, it's not a rule, but rather an exception. Democratic countries uncover these cases, make them public, and officials are removed from their offices because it's not their offices, but our offices as a nation. And we the people will make sure, if they won't abide by the idea of the law, the law will enforce them to responsibility and justice. Zelensky uncompromisingly fights against corruption and marks it undoubtedly that the top priority of Ukraine it is. In recent years, Ukraine has developed a fully independent anti-corruption law enforcement system, which is on active duty ever since and is on the current cases of corruption. Zelensky treats corruption just as it is, has to be treated in a country at war as a treason. Meanwhile, in Russia, they cancel the tax declaration. Yep, just like that. The State Duma of the Russian Federation allowed deputies and senators not to publish their income declarations. Tax declarations in Russia are, oh, sorry, used to be, posted on official websites. They, among other things, include, sorry again, should have included information about money in foreign banks, government, bonds and securities in foreign countries, real estate abroad and whatever. The federal rule provides... I'm so sorry, provided the verification of the reliability and completeness of information on income indicated in declarations, but there were no single official body involved in this verification. Nobody, no problem, says Putin, and cancels tax declaration as a whole. You have to mess around with their design and submission. You see, to put it simply, not everyone is interested, not everyone is willing to do it. Too much bothering. Also, people will go more willingly to become senators if you don't have to declare. Pavel Korshenikov, the head of the State Duma Committee on State Construction. Again, it was the head of the State Parliament Committee on State Construction. State Construction? Really? What's the construction material? Hey, Ivan. Yes, Dimitri. What about those 10 million dollars that you have stolen last year? And you've stolen 15, so what about them? Good news, brother. We can become senators and won't have to declare anymore. I mean, if this is not legendary, then I don't know what is. How did you feed corruption in the Russian way? Legalize it. Don't legalize gay marriage. Marijuana, freedom of speech, sex. Legalize corruption. What do you call invading an independent country, murdering its nation, burning the cities, fighting their women and children by cutting their households off power in the middle of a winter because you just can't beat their men on the battlefield? 
You call it the Russian way, the liberation. Yet, yeah, however, you liberate the country that does not even exist according to your very self. Present-day Ukraine is wholly and fully a brainchild of the Soviet epoch. We know and remember that it was largely created at the expense of historical Russia. It is enough to compare which lands reunited with the Russian state in the 17th century and which territories were within the Ukr SSSR when it succeeded from the Soviet Union. Vladimir Putin, president of the Russian Federation, in article on the historical unity of the Russians and Ukrainians. I mean, just... Try the Russian way in your household. Beat up your wife. Burn down your neighbor's house. Then say that they deserved it all right. She was a whore and his dog was barking too loud. When you want something, just take it and murder anyone who tries to defend it. Become a dictator. Dictate your own laws. Amend them when you want and how you want. Treat the law as a doormat while you are a matador. Make the world fear you, become an emperor, and let your senators be thieves and grafters, and your army, a gang of zombie inmates mercenaries, rule your Russian world, as it is your bunker's backyard, if only those bunkers have backyards. Fuck the law, if only it is not you who enforced it. You are above any laws, you are the law. Make the very magic mirror, afraid to show you the truth, your own face in a smug, arrogant, philistine smile of a morbid ego, which will allow you not to appreciate life, threatening the world with a nuclear scorch. There's not much that could be added to it. If you ever find yourself in a country where lawlessness is the law, be sure of one thing, you are in Russia. The Atomic Energy Agency has deployed its inspectors at Ukraine's nuclear power plants to help reduce the risk of an accident in the midst of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine. Ukraine is deeply appreciative of the EAS decision to collaborate and safeguarding nuclear infrastructure. We are hoping for further effective steps to be taken by agency member states and its director general, Rafael Grossi, in order to counter Russia's breach of existing nuclear radiation safety standards. By taking over the Parisian nuclear power plant, Russia has transformed a peaceful nuclear plant into a military base. Captured Ukrainian personnel on the premises of the station are being subjected to degrading inspections and torture. Ukraine is doing its best to maintain control of the station that was previously disconnected from its energy system. Continued shelling of Ukrainian NPPs by Russia is intolerable, but, you know, that was a word that I needed to say, intolerable, but I wanted to say something else instead of it. It's insane. Imagine a mentally ill person who is indiscriminately poking at the control buttons of a nuclear reactor. Then he grabs a machine gun and shoots the control devices. And then he shoots at the reactor with tanks and then bombs it. The Zaporizhia nuclear plant is now on the territory of the Russian Federation and accordingly should be operated under the supervision of our relevant agencies. Sergei Vershinin, Deputy Foreign Minister of Russian Federation. A supervision? To threaten the world with nuclear devastation and literally shelling the nuclear power plants? A Russian ways to supervise nuclear power it is. I mean, we all live in, in an era of renewed space exploration, where multiple agencies are now planning to send astronauts to the moon in the coming years. This will be followed in the next decade with crewed missions to Mars by NASA and China, who may be joined by other nations. This is nuclear terminal and nuclear electric propulsion engine. Americans and Chinese are going to take us to Mars with it. And this is how nuclear power must be used. Science, medicine, space exploration, not blackmailing the world with new Fukushima and Chernobyl. This once again shows just one thing. Putin doesn't care about anything or anybody. He will never stop unless stopped. And Ukraine, with your help, dear world, will make sure he is. And we in Ukraine can promise you one thing. We will do everything possible and impossible to make this happen as soon as possible. It was Henry Keane explaining how things in easy terms on your TV channel. Stay safe and tune for more.